And so faith is really a spiritual journey and it's a choice to believe and a choice to remain with the system of faith that you've chosen. And very much on a religious level, it's about choosing Christ to me. And I love how Dostoevsky talks about Christ that, you know, even if it could be conclusively proven that he was wrong, he'd still stay with him because he's Jesus. And that that's the kind of level of, of relationship that, that I want to pursue daily in my interactions with, with Jesus. I want him to be my savior. I want to feel close to him. I want to feel close to him. I don't, I don't, I don't want to just think closely about him. <laughs> there, I mean, there are lots of phrases, but I, I connect with, and I've never needed you, Lord, more than I do now. Um, I connect with, uh, I'm torn between my faith and a world that bids me take a road to nowhere. I'd rather take the chance and just believe with all I have that you're still there. Because, I mean, in, in many ways, that's, those are the options that we have. Are we going to choose to believe? Or are we going to, you know, th throw the good things away because of the doubts that we have? You say you'll never leave me or shut me out. You say to trust your promises and not my doubts. But I've waited for your help so long It's hard not to wonder where you've gone And I've never needed you, Lord More than I do now I'm And I think that there's beauty in doubts. I was reading a post um, online just the other day that talks about the difference between I know and I believe. And I've had moments in my life where, you know, I had a, a moment where I realized, wow, I, right now, I don't know. But I still believe. And I still want all this to be true. And I just felt that I was easing into a position of having to show forth faith in something that I've been taking for granted for a really long time, for decades. And as soon as I, you know, slid into that position of having faith, then I felt power and strength again, which led me back to, I know. But that was, that was, an, that was an experience that I will never, ever forget because when you actively have to show faith in something that you don't have certainty of, there's power. There's power that comes in that and, 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 and to you because of that. So it's a it can be a beautiful experience, especially afterwards. That, I mean, I'm finding myself drawn back to Russian literature again here. <laughs> um, there's a man named Levin in, in, in a Tolstoy uh, work, and, uh, and he basically says, if you prepare, you will know in the situation what to do. And, and you can't really give an answer. You can't give a canned response what to do in this situation. But if you live your life in the right way, then when you get into that situation, you will know what to do. And so my advice would be, your whole life has prepared you for this situation. And you will know what to do. Take one step at a time and focus on the next right thing to do. And that will light the way. And God will not give up on you. I have friends who've chosen to stay with faith. I have friends who've chosen to leave faith. And there's not a single one of them that is outside of the reach of God. And wherever your journey takes you, whatever depths you need to explore, God will walk with you regardless of your awareness of his walking with you christ is always there you're never alone in your journey and you can never go wrong by choosing christ you yeah. can never go wrong by trusting god it might not be the easiest road but there'll always be a reward for choosing god 
Oh my heavens. I think most of us have, you know, in our journey of discipleship, encounter our own frailties um, at, you know, in easier or harder ways to, you know, to, to, to relate to our own mortal frailties. And, and I think being, um, being a Christian musician has definitely given me the, the, the opportunity to come face to face with my own um, weaknesses so many times. And I think at, at, at those times where you feel like there, there's really not much choice here, there, there are two choices. Either you give up or you let God do what he wants to do because you've tried it your own way and it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> and, and just, you know, going to the next level of surrender and letting God have his way in your life, I think has been such an amazing journey for me to, to, to let that happen again and again and again, because he does know so much better than me, what, what's best for me in my life. And I remember... I don't want to misquote, but I want to, I want to say Henry Eyring, uh, as a professor at uh, at Stanford, had an experience of you know the Lord just speaking to him and saying, "You don't know what's up or down in your career. <laughs> I know where I want you," and that led to a life changing decision for him. Um, and just so many times, I, I feel that you know we do our best. And we see, well, if I can just get over here, then things will be all right. I just don't know how to get over here. <laughs> and then being carried by the Lord and realizing that, well, I didn't even need to get over here to be okay. I was okay all along because Jesus carried me every step of the way. And it's just a beautiful location and the spirit of the location and the uh the camaraderie uh, of the people being there and you know people from every walk of life and many different backgrounds and it was just beautiful um to all come together to testify of christ and his ability to deliver us in any situation and it was it was emotional because in one of the one of the main contributors uh to this song had a child pass away just days before this refilming of the video. And so emotions were just close to the surface. And there was, there was a beauty in that brokenness that we felt, I think many of us felt. And, um, and just the opportunity to, you know, to take the experience and the emotions we were all feeling and, and offer them to Jesus. I'm torn between my faith in a world that bids me take a road to nowhere, a road to nowhere. I'd rather take the chance and just believe with all I have that you're still.